our fans bought half the tickets by post and then 5,000 queued, some of them for two nights, in hope of obtaining the rest. Here are some of the lucky 2,500 who really are going to see the Beatles at the ABC Ardwick Manchester. The manager makes sure that every member of his staff is ready for the biggest night of the year, able to cope with a terrific audience response evoked everywhere by the Beatles. Paul McCartney gets the full treatment, the kind the fans have taught him to expect. The boys show the press their latest presents. They're a natural, these fabulous four, bubbling over with fun, getting as much kick out of entertaining as the fans get from them. Ringo, a fab drummer and always good for a laugh. We're going to have the privilege of filming a small part of the Beatles show as given on the stage of this theatre. It'll be a sample of what millions have heard and seen all over the country. When they come to your town, well, you won't need any further invitation. You'll be there. We show this film by generous permission of their famous manager, Brian Epstein. George Harrison, Ringo Starr. John Lennon, Paul McCartney. Only a few seconds more and the doors will open. This goes on in the foyer, backstage, the stars themselves make for the dressing room. And just one copper. It's a serious business making up. Ask Paul. She loves you. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah, 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 yeah. Lost your love. Well, I saw her yesterday. She's thinking of, and she told me what to say. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 